Hello my dear students of class 12 science. Uh, today we will again start a new chapter, the last chapter under unit number 8 as for class 12 syllabus and this is a very common topic as you learned in class 10 also and the chapter name is nuclear, this is nuclear, okay, fusion and nuclear fusion. Now this is the chapter which comes under unit number 8 as, as for class 12 syllabus that is atom and nuclei. Okay, it's a short chapter. Okay, and we basically deal with these two nuclear reaction, and the nuclear reaction nothing but nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion. Now we start with the concept of nuclear fusion. So we start with what nuclear fusion. Now the word outer fusion means to split, fusion means to combine. Okay, now these are the two nuclear reaction which is actually observed under a nuclear label. Okay, and these are the fusion and the fusion reaction which was observed by the scientist, number of scientists. But as far the nuclear fusion is concerned, okay, we can start with the year 1939. So 1939 is the year when two German scientists, two German scientists, okay, two German scientists, two German scientists, okay, whose name was Otto Hahn. Otto what? Han. And another name uh, of the scientist was Strassman. Strassman. So these were the two scientists who observed okay, that when uranium as one of the nucleus, which was known at the time, the uranium nucleus. And you know uranium, when I use the word uranium, uranium is symbolized with the U and it has isotopes also, but one of the uh, isotope of uranium, okay, that was used, okay, for this uh, observation was uranium 92-235. So uranium is a heavy element and having atomic number what? Z. And what is the atomic number of uranium? Uh, Z. So Z is the atomic number what? Uranium. Okay. With mass number usually how much? 235. But as I said, uranium has isotopes also. There is a uranium called uh, uranium 92 and 238 also. Okay, so these are the isotopes of uranium. But out of two isotopes, uh, these two scientists observe this nuclear fusion reaction, okay, by bombarding this uranium, this uranium with the what neutron? A neutron, and that is called slow neutron. Bombarding with what neutron? Slow neutron. So, children, I am using the words slow neutron. Means the neutron which is moving with a small kinetic energy. Okay, the neutron which are moving with very less kinetic energy is called slow neutron. So when they bombarded this uh, uranium-92-235 nucleus with neutrons, it found that this uranium nucleus was found to be split into two radioactive nuclei. That means this uranium nucleus was split into two radioactive, two radioactive what nuclei? Okay, which were identified as one of the eutropic nuclei that is called beryllium. So one of the uranium uh, radioactive nuclei which was obtained was split as beryllium, okay, and this is called barium, sorry, with atomic number basically 56, and one more uh, radioactive nucleus which was even found that is called krypton, krypton, and this krypton has atomic number basically how much? 36, okay. Now this observation was done for the first time by these two scientists. But the interesting part in this uh, observation is that there were other two scientists, German scientists, okay, the other two German scientists whose name was Michner, Michner and, okay, Fris. So these two scientists named this particular observation, the splitting of this heavy nucleus into a lighter nuclei as nuclear fission reaction. They named as what? Nuclear fission. So naming was done by these two scientists as the observation was done by uh, these two scientists. But both, all of them were from what? Germany. That means all were the German scientists. So as for the observation made by this scientist, okay, we can now define nuclear fission as a what? Phenomenon or a process in which a heavy nucleus, so this is very important, a heavy nucleus, after capturing a neutron, after bombarding or capturing with a neutron, okay, split into two or lighter nuclei of comparable masses 
and along with this lighter nucleus which is formed there some amount of energy was released so the phenomenon in which the heavy nucleus can be split into two or lighter fragment okay uh, along with the release of what huge amount of energy is basically known as what nuclear fusion reaction so children we can simply define nuclear fusion as the process of splitting heavy nucleus into lighter nuclei lighter fragment or lighter nuclei also we can use by bombarding with a neutron with the release of energy a huge amount of energy and this process is only called as nuclear fusion okay but it doesn't mean that nuclear fusion can only absorb with this uranium nucleus the nuclear, nuclear fusion can also absorb with what uh, absorb with the other heavy nucleus but basically if we take a nucleus having atomic number greater than 82 atomic number greater than 82 are called the lighter element okay and especially with the mass number greater than how much 230 so if we take this element having mass number greater than 80 uh, 230 we can observe uh, this particular fusion reaction so the splitting of heavy nucleus is usually occurs okay uh, occurs into lighter fragment with this atomic number uh, 82 greater than usually 82 okay and mass number usually 230 okay now in the nuclear reaction fission reaction when the splitted part of the element which is obtained and this uh, uh, elements are also called what fission fragment they are also called what fission fragment and these are actually the product nuclei and this product nuclei which is obtained as a reaction of heavy nucleus with the neutrons and such product nuclei are simply called as what fission fragment okay and outer one part is important when we bombard with heavy nucleus we can bombard either with slow neutron or thermal neutron or it can be bombarded with fast neutron that means the fission reaction can be takes place by bombarding heavy nucleus with any of the neutron it can be with slow neutron or fast neutron but depending upon the nucleus that we take it can have a bombardment with either slow neutron or heavy uh, fast neutron but when we take this nucleus heavy nu uh, neutron uranium nucleus 92 to 35 this can bombard even with slow neutron to produce the nuclear fusion reaction however other nuclei like example if you see deep this nucleus is to be fissioned then you have to bombard this with what what neutron fast neutron therefore in the nuclear fusion reaction and this process that is called nuclear fusion is basically accompanied by the release of a fast neutron the few fast neutron okay the few fast what neutron and the huge amount of energy is also liberated and this energy which is liberated actually in the form of the kinetic energy of this fission fragment the product nuclei and even the kinetic energy of these neutrons and the energy other than these neutrons who is also aware that is the energy of gamma photons energy of gamma rays that's why this energy which we liberated on the fission reaction is also a huge amount of what energy that's why nuclear fission is one of the process a nuclear reaction which actually works on the basis of nuclear bomb so nuclear fission is actually okay a, a process of nuclear reaction which is on the basis of what this is on the basis of what nuclear bomb nuclear bomb or it is also on the process of what a uh, nuclear reactor nuclear what a reactor now nuclear bomb actually works on the principle of nuclear fusion reaction nuclear reactor also works on the process of nuclear fusion reaction but children you will learn uh, the other topic that nuclear fusion is also called as a chain reaction which can be classified as controlled chain reaction and uncontrolled chain reaction now we can write this nuclear fusion reaction okay in the form of reaction that means we can write this nuclear fusion in the form of what? reaction so we can even write the nuclear fusion reaction okay as a this reaction so this is one of the example of nuclear fusion reaction of uranium 92 to 35 now see if you look at this reaction uranium 92 to 35 one of the heavy nucleus if it bombard with this neutron and this neutron is basically called as slow neutron slow what neutron so when we bombard we get an unstable nucleus that is uranium 92 to 36 which cannot uh, remain at all and it's further split it into the lighter fragment okay and these fragments are the fission fragment and these fragments are 
like one is barium with atom number 56 and mass number 241 141 krypton with atom number 36 mass number 92 along with that the neutrons will also produce so basically three neutrons will produce but these neutrons are not the slow neutrons these are the what neutrons fast neutrons that means this neutron acquire a kinetic energy okay they acquire what kinetic energy high kinetic energy along with that the energy will release so remember children that in nuclear fusion reaction the energy is always released but this energy which is released is actually appears in the form of the energy the kinetic energy of this barium krypton the energy of these neutrons fast neutrons and even the energy of the gamma photons some gamma photons may also release okay so this energy which is released is also due to the mass defect so it didn't also do to what defect mass defect because when you calculate the mass of this reactant and when you calculate the mass of this product the mass of the reactant will be more than the mass of the product or the product mass will be less than the mass of the reactant so what happened when from reactant to product the mass loss or there's a mass in there's a loss in mass and this loss in mass is called mass defect and due to that that loss in mass under this fusion reaction the energy also get liberated okay now when we go through this nuclear fusion reaction of uranium 92 to 35 okay this nuclear fusion reaction will be observed rarely now the reason behind it is that because this uranium 92 to 35 can found in the nature very rare it it will not get enough okay that's why if i compare the ratio of this two uh, uranium nucleus okay the ratio of what this two uranium nucleus is basically how much uh, 141 45 is to 1 145 is to what 1 that means in the ratio of 145 is to 1 this uranium 92 to 38 and uranium 92 to 35 will be obtained that means in comparison to uranium uh, 238 and 92 uranium this uranium is found very rare okay that's why the fission reaction nuclear fission reaction is also basically observed with what uranium 92 to 35, 38 but when we observe this uranium nuclear fission reaction with this uranium 92 to 38 it is actually observed by the bombardment of bombarded with what neutron fast neutrons bombarded with what neutron fast neutron whereas this can be observed by even bombarding with slow neutron so this is the detailed explanation of nuclear fission as a reaction okay now the in the next youtube video we do calculate a rough calculate of energy release in nuclear fission okay and that we do continue in the next youtube video